Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dork Side. It is I, your friendly neighborhood Dork in the Road, and today I'm out on the Versus. Got something on my mind, and I like to ride and clear my mind. So today, we're thinking about, talking about, wondering about, what's the best first dirt bike for my 11-year-old? Yes, I am the dork in the road, and it is my goal to be your internet riding buddy. But unlike your other riding buddies, I'm available whenever you want, and I come with the mute button. So, if you haven't yet, please don't hesitate to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can get involved in future dorky shenanigans. So, as many of you know already, uh, I am the proud father of a 12-year-old girl. I think I said 11-year-old at the beginning of the video, but she just turned 12 like two and a half weeks ago. And she's an awesome kid. You may remember her from the uh, the Kawasaki versus Two Up riding video. She made a guest appearance in that one. She's enjoyed listening to me talk about all my trail riding and dual sport shenanigans. And she's pretty interested in getting out there and riding a bike with me. So we made a deal with her this year. And the deal was if she managed to get straight A's all year, we would buy her a dirt bike. And I'll be damned if she hasn't done it. So we're super proud of her and super excited that I get to go pick up a dirt bike for her and teach her to ride it. We've given a lot of thought over the last couple months what will be a good bike for her. So keep in mind, she's never ridden before. She's ridden a bicycle, never been on a motorcycle. So it's not like she's upgrading from a 50 and has a bunch of experience or anything like that. This will be her very first motorcycle. We went and sat on, we went and she sat on some bikes. She's probably tall enough for a 125 or a 140, but uh, 125s and 140s have clutches and the 110 is also it's not so small it's uncomfortable for her and i just feel like it's going to be a more manageable beginner friendly bike and knowing her personality i think something that she can get comfortable with right away and not something that she has to grow into is probably a better choice so i'm leaning hard towards the 110 i'm thinking we're going to end up getting her a 110. now as you know um, despite the fact that i'm currently riding a kawasaki i am a bit of a honda fanboy. i just really like honda bikes i like that rock solid solid reliability and also red is like my favorite color so I like that they have a lot of red bikes. And so uh, looking real hard at the CRF 110, but I'm also interested in the, uh, the Yamaha 110. Is it the TTR 110? I think it's the TTR 110. There's also, you know, in the running, but probably not, ooh, is that ti oh, Tiger for sale? Uh, in the running, but not like at the forefront are like the KLX 140, uh, CRF 125, the TTR 125 those bikes so i've done a little research really between the yamaha and the honda 110s is you know where i'm focusing most of my research and here's what i found according to a few articles i've read and some videos the 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 yamaha is a little bit more performance it has a bigger carburetor better for and more advanced advanced is the wrong word an experienced rider and the honda is going to be more beginner friendly and easier for a new rider to take on neither one of them has a clutch so it's a four speed clutchless shifting transmission so which will be fun i'm kind of excited to ride it myself right now i'm leaning hard towards the honda so one i'm curious about your opinions especially if you have had either of those bikes the Yamaha 110 or the Honda 110, or if there's anything I'm not considering that I should be, that would be good to know. There's a Yamaha Kawasaki dealership nearby, Power, that's only about 40 minutes away, and we have a, a Honda dealership in town, i5 Sports, which is where I bought my Grom in Albany. And I like both places, so I'm not like super, I bought bikes both places and I'm not like super partial to one or the other. Why is stopping on the track better than just going past it and going next to this guy? I don't know, because I'm stupid. I forgot how to ride a motorcycle, you guys, or at least a big one. Not even big, a normal size one. I'm too used to the Grom. It is unseasonably hot today, by the way. It's about 97 degrees, which we sometimes get in August, but we definitely don't usually get in June. I'm usually safe through June and most of July before I have to really worry about the heat. So I'm wearing all my vented gear, but it is warm. And I love this windscreen on the Versus. You know I do. But man, it would be nice to have some more airflow right now. I missed my naked bike. Reliability wise, the Honda is supposed to be like slightly better, but like 1%. And performance wise, they're pretty similar. And I know that Yamaha is not going to be crazy advanced. You know, it's not going to be too much for her to handle. So it may just come down to which dealership's going to make me the best deal. And on a bike that cheap, I don't even know. Like, they're not going to have a lot of margins. So are they going to be able to knock money off? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. Who knows, you know? Who knows? So I'm thinking about going down to, or making some calls to the dealerships tomorrow. See what kind of deal they'll make me. She's got a full set of gear, almost, for her birthday, which was a couple weeks ago. Uh, I took her to Cycle Gear and had her pick out. They have that combo where you buy a 
jersey and pants and you get a helmet for free and you know it's not amazing and i'm sure the deal's not as good as they make it out to be but it was about how much i wanted to spend and so she's got a jersey and pants and uh a motocross helmet so that's good for this type of speed she'll be riding i think a built helmet is probably sufficient at least at first she doesn't have a chest protector yet she's got she bought elbow and knee pads with a gift card she had she doesn't have motocross boots yet but we're not going to go trail riding for a little while because i want her to get the basics of the bike down so well there's a there's a that field by my house that sometimes shows up in videos is a good place for her to practice and learn to ride and then we're going to go up probably and ride forest ride logging roads so she can get the hang of it um in a less dangerous environment i mean the trails aren't super dangerous but i don't want her to get into something technical or get stuck or get intimidated and fall and then not want to ride anymore these are fears so we're going to ease her into it we got our whole lives to figure it out and then eventually We'll go camping and trail riding, and she can just come with Duck Fan and I when we do those kind of things. And that is super fun. So I'm looking forward to those adventures for sure. Um, think about getting her a Senna. I realize that's an expensive kind of gift or accessory, but the ability to talk to her while we're riding and coach her, like ride behind her and give her, you know, tell her what to do or just help her if she has questions versus just kind of riding and figuring it out and having to stop and answer questions once in a while. I just think that real-time feedback piece is going to be huge and very important. So uh, I'm into the idea of maybe getting her a Senna for when we ride together. It's so handy. I mean, Duck Fan and I have said many times that the best per motorcycling related purchase we ever made was our Senna's. It has increased our enjoyment of motorcycling together, you know, tenfold basically. It just really makes a big difference. I'm looking forward to teaching her to ride on her probably a 110 unless you all have a better opinion or can offer me some sage advice at this point. I got to ride on the back of my dad's bike as a kid, but I never got to ride with him. Although he did get a motorcycle last summer, we just haven't gone out and ridden together yet. So it's a dream I could still make to come true. Would you guys be interested in seeing some videos of me teaching her to ride? Or if we had the center, she could even talk and like be part of the video. She could even review her bike and we could talk about why we picked it, whatever we end up with. So I think that'll be fun. So look forward to that stuff. And um, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you have thoughts, feelings, comments, questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer comments, especially in the first couple days the video comes out. There's a ton of people at Greensbridge right now because it's so hot. And I appreciate you. And as always, please do not forget to be excellent to each other. I thank you.